Hi guys, it's Mark from the SL Gear 16 in France and I just I'm just on the way back from my first test run with my MCD R Snake V60 Pro. And it works absolutely like we have planned it. And this means the top speed about 85 km an hour and with these batteries CNHL AL 5600 milliamp, 5600 milliamp. Sorry, I mixed my German. And we drive 25 minutes, and I stopped a flap hotel at 375. I load it up and I load. 4300 milliamps pro battery that means we can drive five minutes longer as what we have done then i make a second run with the dxf 6500 highway graphene battery first of all this battery after the run 25 minutes with an out temp about 50 degrees celsius was even not so hot as my hands this one was as hot as my hands Like with this battery, I made a stop in the middle, check my lipos. I was by 385, so I decided to go down until cutoff. I have set it the cutoff to 35. It's a little bit low, but uh, I use this also to show something. Is if you put a cutoff at 3637, your battery after run are just nice balanced. If you go under 35. The battery begins to be um, weird in the balance. Balance. So we had here a voltage after cutoff from 33 for the worst cell uh, to 360 for the best cell uh, on 60 cells. And here on 60 cells, I had 50 times 355 and one cell at 347. That's a joke. Next run, I'm gonna take the VRLT battery, VARC batteries, graphene high voltage also. I also noted that I have no more power with the DXF battery than with the China Hobby Line, but it should be because they are high voltage. But I'm really not happy with the DXF battery since beginning. I'm happy now for a moment with the China Hobby Line, I'm happy with my Gensays, uh, and I'm happy with the VRLT batteries. The only difference for the next one is going to be that I do not uh, can show you the difference on speed between the walk and this ones because I'm going to put a 20 tooth pinion gear. So now we're going to talk about what's under the hood to explain you some different things. First of all, I drive without any air intake to the motor and also without any blower. The motor never reached more than 50, 75 degrees uh, and I drive 25 minutes and then 35 minutes. That's a huge difference. And the end with the DXF battery I put the body away so I have two kilograms less. I have airflow and the motor was sinking himself down 10 degrees. So really easy. And this is without any cooling stuff. So I'm gonna put a blower on there. I'm gonna put a 22 spinning gear. Why? Because uh, first of all, I want a little bit more speed, even if it's enough for the, the size of uh, parking I have here. Um, 55, uh, 85 kilometers an hour is way enough. But I wanna reach a little bit more. And the motor also, this uh, SSS 6-pole 6504 motor, is in 5 to 10 meter maximum at its top speed. You hear, you're gonna hear on the video the motor screaming out from the curve. I, I hit the throttle 5 to 10 meters depending on how much speed I had out from the curve and you hear the motor because he's on his top RPM. That means he has no issue to pull this weight at that speed in 60s. So I'm gonna 
put four tools more to reach mm, 95 kilometers an hour around and gonna see what happened with motor temp and also with m -through. and this is why I drive 60s this car has 50 kilograms depending on your setup the most competitor here in Europe use the Max 4 motor 70 can 2.5 kilograms the big ESA will go it and needs for us 11,000 battery for to get 8s 11,000 to can drive 25 minutes runs with the same speed difference is that after this the motor is really hot and the battery are really also hot I was even not warm for sure if I drive in summer it's a huge difference between 50 degrees Celsius and 45 degrees Celsius and I swear you can try it pull here a castle motor in there 800 kV with the sensor is no more 130 motor the motor is maybe not bigger than this one maybe smaller because you need so much space between the magnet from the rotor and the sensor at the end and this is a loss of power for the motor because you have less rotor less stator that means you have a smaller motor is outside big but inside is smaller and if you put the cast light on a kv you will see not pull out more than the hobby ring 800 kv sensor less the old motor I'm pretty sure also if you take the old Kestel 780 without sensor it has more power than the new one the difference with the new ones is the sensor they use the timing to pull out the difference at the end RPM and for sure in ADS this motor gonna be really hot in there if you go to 12S with an 800 kV motor you will get a problem about what I tell you here I do myself my motor mount to be able to go down to 62s because the normal stuff is about 92s and a 92s pinion and a cast light on KV in 12s will kill your motor I promise you I promise that's why I use bigger power systems in heavy car low Z5T, MCD, RR5XR5 that stuff Two little cars with 10, 11 kilograms are okay with ADS systems. We have here about 75 kilometers an hour, here also 75. But for the bigger babies, and especially for go faster, you need more. Uh, you can do it with ADS, you can do it in 12. Maybe 12 is the common setup for the most people who are gonna be happy because it's easy to take the Hobbywing 650 kV, not the 800, take the 650. Put the official uh, brushes setup from MCD on the top with the battery left side, you will be happy. But for really drive endurance, 20 25 minutes, like a two stroke engine does, because this is why here in Europe they drive 25 minutes for each race, because the two stroke reach 25 minutes. And the two strokes. Uh, has an advantage because they use the two gear two speed gearbox so they are not so fast at top speed but they have a higher top speed than the brushes setups and they just want the cars to match together from the performance that's why they do it this way I do not race so I can do what I want and this is why it takes 60s if you're wondering why I have put away the brake because this is the way I like my brushless motor ESC servo battery connecting power on hit the throttle have fun um, I have no brake to maintain no air filter no oil no motor segment to do no mm, mm, <laughs> easy maintenance I drive more than I maintain I understand people who like the nitros and the two stroke because they like the mechanical stuff at, the tr at this point but I prefer drive than do mechanics and this is the funny thing with these big cars is that you can really drive the whole year 
without doing nothing. You just drive one year each Sunday, three through three, two, three, four battery packs, and just one time in a year, open it and change the, the grease and the differential or the oils, make some setups. Um, for sure, if you are a competition driver, you will not do that, and you need a little bit more. You're gonna put it lower, gonna put the right spur on there. But I'm a fun driver, and that's why I'm happy with just the car simply as it is out from the box. All I'm gonna do is change the front diff oil because it's really, 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 uh, it's just grease in the differential, it's really too fluid. I have no center diff. Maybe I'm gonna buy one to put it in there because I really prefer to drive with center differentials and this is also why I have done my setup with a, a slidable weight distribution because with a center diff I'm gonna put as much weight as possible in the front so the nut will spin out and when I brake before the curve I can do a better turn. But for the moment I'm happy so, and don't forget also, if you have no center diff, you need more power. Driving a car with a really hard center diff or no center diff needs more amp than a car with a center diff. Because with the center differential, so what I say, you can make the front tires spool a little bit away, so less uh, pressure and the rear differential, the car, the motor can spin on RPM faster and go forward easier than a car with no center diff because you always have to pull out the power the rear tire until they slip. ESC was cold after the run. Uh, I really love the Airsnake V16 V12 Pro for sure because of that. Uh, it's also for the budget better value because the Hobby ESC are no more any cheap that Hobby Wing was at the beginning. Castle ESC stops by ALS. I really hope that Castle will do a 12 ESC. Please, Castle, do us 12 systems and above. Go to 60S and make us motor between 300 and 600 kV. 6520 so you have room for the sensor in the end and we can go back to our loved powerful castle stuff um, back in the time it was that power system but now we have so much uh, contenders who do better and cheaper that i no more drive castle i have here a castle system in this one and all over cars drives leopard Four pole also motors. I drive SSS motors. Uh, what I haven't tried now is uh, TP Power. TP Power are the best motors you can get for high speed runs or drag race. They are just rated for that. And this is why I don't have it because I want to drive endurance and I do not need motor with such a high amp throw who pull out so much power. We're gonna do also a crazy setup in the low Z5 12S to show you what it needs in 12S to have nice performance. And then I'm gonna switch the low Z5 to 60S. I even have done one in 80S. I was really happy with a SSS motor, 360 kV, 80S, LiPo on board, 3x6S. Was way enough room in the low Z5 and it just it's just nice with the weight from the car. It's normal for the common people to drive a 18 skill buggy in force. This thing weights 3.5 kilograms in force. But when you tell people I drive a 60 kilogram car in 60s, oh, you're crazy, you're doing shit. No, you're doing. <laughs> Because this is normal. We drive a 1.8 skill, uh, skill buggy in 6s. That means in 4 kilograms we have here 4 buggies. 4 times 6s would be 24s. So you need 24s to match the power from a 1.8 skill 6s buggy. 
horsepower to pound to have the same drive experience the same power to can drive over 100 and still have a runtime you must think on another way with electric what's really strange also is it's common in flying stuff or boats to have big ESC 24s and uh, big motors uh, TP power made the TP 100 XL motor that's such a, <laughs> a thing from a motor um, crazy stuff but you need to go on high as this motors drive spins about 120 240 kV but they need 24 84 50 70 100 volts to pull out the full power so stay tuned for see the next stuff i would say i'm gonna put the 22 spinning gear i'm gonna keep this motor go with the same battery maybe the first one so we're gonna see a difference between the run times maybe and then i switch the walk 8400 kv and for sure if i do it with this setup if i have done already 25 minutes with the five and a half um with the 84 i'll be able to reach maybe 35 to 40 minutes runtime a little bit crazy but i like that guys stay tuned for the rest and i want to know from you guys who are driving 8s 12s 60s or more is what do you do in your car what do you like um, what's your pref uh, your favorite power system and why and if you are in love with an ADES 800 kV motor have you tried to do that in 60s many people are gonna tell okay 600 kV in 60s is the same as an ADES system with 2200 kV the problem is the torque if you put 1200 kV in this size mo can motor, you're gonna reach 400 amp, and you're never gonna have the torque from this one, so the motor will struggle. You need a small pinion, and you will suck your battery down dry in a few minutes. That's the big difference. In this way, I am really so easy on the way that I can even put five kilogram more on the car, or I can put a bigger pinion, and still have no concern. What I like, what I like to do, especially, is to go out, put my battery in, drive 20, 20, 25 minutes with uh, one battery pack, without have to thinking on oh, be gentle on throttle. You're gonna burn out the motor, be gentle on throttle, you need too much amp, the battery gonna be run hot. This is what you see, uh, I have made the test run from the Armour Creighton 8S V2 AXB out or Outcast. With the stock setup, the 1250, 60, uh, 56 and uh, 85 motor, because the truck is 50 kilogram heavy, had in ADES with 9000 milliamp battery to be gentle and throttle to reach a full hour by a normal sport run I was only able even with the 9000 to just hit the 8 minute marks the battery was on 60 degree after this 8 minutes and the motor above 100 so this is why I use such stuff with 60s in such heavy cars for sure guys stay tuned for the rest and i wait for your comments i want to discuss with you uh, people who have big scales uh, many from you maybe have a two stroke in this big scale what i fully understand and uh, tell me what have you done on your two stroke um, have you changed something a read case or uh, such stuff uh, different exhaust, um, different air intake to uh, win some performance. Did you have a one gear, a two gear box in there? Um, I want to know everything about uh, what you know about your car. Have a nice day.